three, two, one. <laughs> and we are live and we're we're back. Uh, it's been a while. This is we're episode back, 16 of Lawn Chair Sports Podcasts. Yes, sir. Kind of got out of the groove, but we're here, man. Um, I know I'm getting fucked up in the scoring, so whatever. The score <laughs> is, the score is, we're in the playoffs, man. Yeah, we're in the playoffs. So we should do uh, playoff games are worth 10 points apiece. 10 points? Yeah, and if you can predict the Super Bowl, if you can, pre- if right now, if you can predict who's going to be in the Super Bowl, who's going to win, <laughs> and the score within a touchdown, then that means we're tied. <laughs> <laughs> that means you came back all the way. All right, so I'm just going to throw it out there. Chiefs beat the... Bengals? Chiefs win the Super Bowl 28-17 okay. to 17 against the um, 49ers, a repeat. 28-17? A repeat of what? The last Super Bowl they won. They beat the 49ers. They did? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know Patrick Mahomes has been to five straight AFC championships? Five straight. This is his fifth straight. How many times have Joe Burr beat him? Last year. Just once? I think because he was a rookie last year. Was he a rookie last year? Yeah. So No way. No, he got injured his rookie season. So, okay. Then That's his first year, year kind of playing, yeah. he, he went to the Super Bowl. So you want to um, go through the old... Um, the playoffs? Basically the playoffs. Because I kind of have been keeping up with it and I kind of haven't. Yeah, I mean, no, I say we just start where we're at. Or we can talk about last week. We talk about Let's Los Pinche Cowboys. Cowboys. So I don't think the 49ers won. I think the Cowboys lost. Okay. Does that make, does that make sense? It does. Because they held them to a pretty decent amount. And it was I think a defensive the de- battle. The defense did really well. Yeah. They have against, a good defense. Against them. and. But Dak Prescott, Dak dude. Prescott sucks. He's such a likable guy. You want to like him. You want him to be the dude. But he just isn't. Yeah. So well, well, actually, let's go back a little bit. Tell me, talk to me about uh, the kicker. Oh, the guy missing all so the extra in the, points in in the first round, which was the wild card round. Mm-hmm. He missed four straight, five straight. I think four straight extra four points. four straight extra points. Because so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming off. after like the second one, it's all in your head. Yeah, you're like you're fucked. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. That was crazy. That was one of the craziest things I've seen. In a football game ever. And then they go into that next game. He missed again. And he missed again. He had one blocked, but he it was, was way miss. off anyway. Yeah. yeah. I watched the first half. Yep. Yeah. Was, so, yeah, they, was, they're just not a championship level team. They're, they're good. They're just. They're the best worst team in the NFL. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. they're the they're the winner of the losers type of shit. That's a good way to put it. But Hi. with Dak Prescott and all the commitment they have to him and Zeke, did you see that last play of the game? Most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Did you see Zeke get blown the fuck up? <laughs> yeah. And then there, whoever so caught it. So what were they expecting? Like, Zeke to get the... He was going to catch it and throw it to... Pass it to Zeke? I don't know. Like a what? lateral Who to Zeke? Who knows? Who drew up that play? That's what I want to know. Kellen Moore, right? I guess so. A lot of people want to get rid of him. A lot of people want to get rid of... Uh, I've McCarthy? seen a lot, of, a lot. No, I haven't. I've heard a lot of get rid of uh, Dak and Zeke. Yeah. Which you know, I think. Mm, I so who could the Cowboys get? Tom Brady. <laughs> I mean. I heard Tom's going to Miami. I, I heard the Jets. The Jets or uh, L.A. I mean, not L.A. Las Vegas. Interesting. So he's playing. And I think he might, I've said it on this before, I think he's going to get to 50. You think he's going to win another Super Bowl? No, I'm sorry. He's going to be 50 in the NFL. Yeah. I think he's... But you don't think he's going to win another Super Bowl? No. No? I don't think those... If that's the case... What if he went to the Dolphins? They're pretty good. They are really good. They were eight and something. They were like eight and one. Yeah, with a really shitty uh, quarterback. Eight and two, eight and three, and then they end up... I mean, two is not really shitty. He's just very consistent. Do you know Dan Dan Snowder? Dan Snow, the comedian? Uh, no. He's a pretty funny, dude. You should look him up. He actually, he was on a podcast recently. He grew up with that coach. Okay. Because he's a really good friend. So he was talking about it. Yeah, they, they're a pro. I guess, yeah, he should go to Miami. He's still in Florida, you know. Yeah. He's. But, okay, back to the Cowboys. What do they do about the quarterback situation? Uh, I heard Lamar, but then somebody brought up a good point that Lamar is like one in three in the playoffs. 
Yeah. So I, I said, I just threw it out there. I said Tannehill, but he's getting old. Maybe Garoppolo. Is he? If he loses his job. What about uh, the guy from the Raiders? Carr? Derek Carr. Eesh. No. That'd be rough. And I don't know, man. It'll be interesting. But he's still a contract, right? D, uh, Dak? Dak? Let's look at it. What's Dak's contract look like? I'm sure there'd, it'd be a big payout. He signed a four-year deal in... So whenever he signed the four-year deal... It doesn't say... Let's break it down. Oh, 2001. 2021. 2021. Extension. So he'll be here till 2025. So he's got like three more seasons? Two more seasons? Yeah. I don't think they're, gonna get, they're not going to get rid of him. No. They're going to stick with him. He, uh, led, he led the league in uh, interceptions, <laughs> even though he didn't even play the whole season. Yeah, but didn't he lead the league in touchdown passes too and shit like that? Like he's... Oh, uh, maybe. He's a... Uh, I think he's good. I just don't think he's like he's that. Not you, great. you said he's not. They're just not that great of. He's team. mid. Dax mid. I think the, so. The worst thing that could have happened for these Cowboy fans this year was them doing pretty decent, as decent as they did. <laughs> because now everybody's kind of got some sort of validation that they're fucking great. Yeah, their defense Even is really my, good. It's it's like especially what, with Vander second back. best behind the 49ers. Yeah, yeah. I can't see the 49ers getting past the Eagles. What do you think is going to happen there? Okay, let's get into it. So, to this weekend is the um, conference championships between the Bengals and the Chiefs and the 49ers and the Eagles. I think um, Purdy wins his eighth straight against the Eagles. Damn. because Because you've been picking against the Eagles. Oh, yeah. I already said it. Oh, fuck. Well, I was going to pick against them anyways. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So, for my 20 points right here, um, okay. I think what we're going to see is the best defense win the Super Bowl. Damn. So I didn't, I was expecting, like, I really was expecting in my, if we had done this last week, I was going to say this, the winner of the Cowboys, and this is really what was in my head, the winner of the Cowboys 49ers was going to win the Super Bowl. But uh, I think that the 49ers defense is that good. that They're going to win. Yeah. Because we saw, again, we didn't see them win. We saw the Cowboys lose. Yeah. Because of their defense. So you're saying the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl? I think. Did I already say the Chiefs? You said the I'm, Chiefs. I'm switching up to back to the Niners, man. <laughs> All right. But I think they're going to play the Chiefs. Okay. And the what What are they going to win by? I know. I just went backwards on my fucking thing. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I like it better. I say it's a 24-17. I still think it'll be close. 24-17 Niners. Niners. For the record. Because, so who do you think is going to win this game? I'll get into it in a minute. I got the Eagles winning the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. Oh, no, no, against the Bengals. Okay. Oh, so we're opposites. Eagles and Bengals. So yep. what do you think the score looks like against the Niners and the Eagles? The Eagles and the Bengals? No, let's go. Let's let's do the Oh, conference. the Niners and the Eagles. Niners and the Eagles. I think it's going to be like 28 to 14 Eagles. Close game. Yeah, pretty close. So you think Jalen Hurts' offense is better than San Francisco's defense? Mm-hmm. I think so. And the only reason now that I'm switching it up because I just thought about this, Mahomes hurt himself. Yeah. He's not 100% healthy. He's injured. So, I think he gets the Super Bowl. I don't think he wins. See, I don't even have him getting past Joe Burr. You like him. You really like him this whole season. Huh? He's a beast. He, he's good. But, I don't you know, think he's better than... The Bengals, first of all, what I really like is whenever you see a team that's sucked for as long as you can remember. So, there's like... Five teams, most sucky teams of all time, I would say. Browns. The Lions. The Lions. The Bengals. Who else? Sucky, never winning Bears? team. They, the Bears. Kind of, the they, Bears had their time back in the day, I guess. But, but as far as like we know. And the Jaguars, I, I guess. Say, too, Jags the Jaguars. Too. So for Cincinnati to be, the Texans to be good. Too. Yeah, Texans, ever since they've been a thing, they've sucked pretty bad. So both two teams, Jaguars and the Bengals, kind of turned it around. Yeah, and the Lions are turning it around. I wish they would have made the playoffs. We were, that would have been cool. We were hoping for them too. But so what I'm saying is, first of all, having a team like such an underdog team like the Bengals and having a cool-ass dude like Joe Burrow, he gets sacked so much, dude. He's a tough motherfucker. His offensive line kind of sucks, to be honest. You know, he's got his ex-teammate 
at LSU. Chase. Yeah. And they kill it. They're bad motherfuckers. They really don't have a whole lot of guys on defense who stand out. You know, like, I can't really name any of their defensive players. But they play really well. They get better as the season goes don't, on. Isn't there somebody on their defense that everybody hates? <laughs> Maybe. Is he a defensive back? Yeah. He always getting burned. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, you know, they're one of those teams. They they played pretty bad at the beginning of the season. They did this last year. And then they, they caught on. And they, now they're hitting on all cylinders. They dominated the Bills. And every every aspect of football. I think they expose the Bills. For offense, what they are. defense, special teams. Yeah. In the snow. Um. So you think it's going to be a shootout? Between the Chiefs and the Bengals? Chiefs and the Bengals, I think that, that Pat Mahomes' immobility is really going to affect the outcome of the game. You know, he usually makes a lot of magic happen whenever he's scrambling around doing crazy shit. With the high ankle sprain, man, it's going to be limited no matter how many Percocets they give him or quarter zone shots, whatever you know, the fuck. You know, he's going to get lit up. Yeah. So... Who knows? I'm a Pat Mahomes fan. Don't get me wrong. Me I love Patty Pat, but I just feel like the Bengals have a lot of momentum on their side right now, and uh, I can see that game being like 28-34 Bengals. And then it's going to be Bengals and the Eagles in the Super Bowl. I like the Eagles. What did I say? 28-14? That'd, that'd be crazy for the city of Philadelphia to lose two championships. To lose two championships? Yeah, Phillies. Phillies got beat by the Astros. Well, I thought I said the Eagles were going to win. What I say, the Bengals win? I would say, I'm saying though, it would be funny if the oh, Eagles if they did lose? lost the Super Bowl. Yeah, but for the record, I got them to win. <laughs> okay, man. So, <laughs> yeah, we've been all over the place. Because their defense bit, is pretty dope too. Yeah, both games are on Sunday, two o'clock and five thirty. Two o'clock and five thirty. Yeah. For anybody listening, if you're not a big football fan, now's the time to tune in. I mean, that's what everybody does. Yeah. Now's really the time. Got the best of the best playing against each other, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I I don't remember being this excited about the playoffs in a while. I mean, last year was pretty exciting, but this is gonna be really interesting. You know, it's kind of a toss up. I mean, any four of them, obviously. Yeah. Any one of these could win. Yeah, exactly. It really is cool to see. Like, I guess these are the top four teams in the league. Definitely, they are. To see them duke it out, but too bad we'll Pat's see. not at full capacity. Yeah, if he was, I would. I would reckon he wins, but I don't know. I don't think you can. You could probably get past the Bengals on a shoelace, but if you're not healthy against the either Niners. either one of the defenses, he's not going to do well. Right. So I love you, brother, and I imagine you will be back next year. So get healthy. Um, Texas Tech Red Raiders, they are 10 and 10. Right. Basketball team, Basketball. 10 and 10. What's the losing streak we're on? We haven't won one big no, 12. I think game. we're 0 and 7. And, uh, I think it's 0 and 8 now. I was actually at the game last night. How was it? And it was rough, man. It looked like watching a high school team. It was, it was close until because I had to put a set up for the podcast. It was like 50s. Yeah. And then they got beat. Lots of turnovers, man. They do not play as a team whatsoever. They can't pass the ball. And, uh, you know, I really want to cheer for them. Going into the game last night, before the game started, I was on the whole, like, oh, I'm going to support these guys regardless, you know, because they're the most talented, bad team that you could see, you know. And obviously, the Big 12 is elite basketball. Yeah, man. You got so, you got to cut them some slack, but so they last night was rough. They lose 75-72 to 72 against Kansas. They lose 67-61 to 61 against TCU. And then, so, I mean, it's kind of close. They've there. been in most and of these games. And then they get blown out by Iowa State, 84 to 50. Yeah. They lose to Texas and Austin at 72 to 70, close game. 81 to 80, 74 against Baylor, kind of a close game. 68 to 58 against Kansas State, who's ranked number five. So all these are like kind of close games. But yeah. And they get. They can hang a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you want to cheer for them. They're fun to watch. But they, they all play as individuals. And uh, everybody's just chunking up shots. It's just crazy to see, like, you know, you had mentioned earlier about the NIL money. Yeah, so I did a podcast with a former Red Raider, probably Red Raider royalty, Keenan Ward. And he was just mentioning that these NIL deals, what the price tag on them was. And I was like, damn. And it kind of like 
now you're not really playing it safe. You're not playing hard. You're playing safe. You want to yeah. protect yourself. You don't give a fuck if you win or lose because you're making six figures yeah. in college. Yep. And it's going to set you up for life. You don't give a fuck. Yeah. So that's probably what's kind of hurting. They're not hungry. I don't. I, I mean, uh, it's a really young team. Said, it's then, a really young team. Well, that being said, and then you, the, the record reflects it. They're, mm-hmm. they're fucking losing. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there's a lot of freshmen, and uh, you know, I got a little bit of gossip. That's pretty juicy. And normally, I don't like to gossip. You know, like I don't know uh, how much we touched on the uh, Chris Beard stuff, but. Did, I don't know if he was fired yet by Christmas. I don't think he was. That was the last time we dropped something. No, we didn't talk about him being He's fired. He's been fired. Yes, he is not with the team anymore. Yeah, and so whenever he left Lubbock on April Fool's and he just kind of said, fuck you to us, uh, there was a lot of people saying things about him in terms of uh, his character and how irresponsible he was, that he was an alcoholic. They called him Country Club Chris. Allegedly, anyways. And he would be sitting out there drinking all the time. But I defended him, even though he had ran off to Texas or whatever. I was like, you know, we shouldn't be talking about this guy. Basically, the metaphor I used was that uh, Lubbock was the ugly girl that just got left for the the hot babe. Usually always the case yeah, in sports. And we were salty about it, so we were trying to tarnish this man's good name. Well, as it turns out, I guess all that shit turned out to be true. And he, he is an alcoholic. He's got a drinking problem and he's a violent guy. So I'm not defending people anymore. <laughs> and if you think about it, like if we just sat here and we didn't talk about the juicy shit, then that would be really boring. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not we're not Texas Tech radio, you know. It just makes it that much more sweet that he Yeah. He left us for that stupid team. But all that being said, the golden boy, Mark Adams. To, oh, Mark Adams. So, <laughs> word on the street Oh, is, so you got something about him. Yeah. Oh, man. Word, word on the street, Coach Adams had a brother who passed away, I guess in 2020, COVID, sometime around there. And that after he passed away, Coach Adams left his wife and married <laughs> his deceased brother's wife. Holy that shit. That he had been having an affair with for the past however many years. Ooh. Allegedly, I have is no this? idea. But this is the Bro, word. Bro, we're gonna put this out. This is the <laughs> word on the Lubbock streets. Hey, if you want to get hits, put it out. Who else is talking about hey, this kind so of shit? This is allegedly. 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 This is this is what's being said on them Lubbock streets. But do you have an insider scoop? A pretty, little bit. Pretty a little good bit. credible source. I would say so. I mean, okay, that's weird and bad. And I know for but f- it's not. I know for a fact he got divorced. It's that's you know morally like oh that's a little whatever, but it's not like. You're beating your wife. I think there's a difference. Uh-huh. That's personal life. And you, I know, but I guess because we were ridiculing Chris Beard, we kind of have to do that against him too. What I'm saying is like that's. But I there's never, a lot going on with with the Texas Tech Red. Raiders. I never really heard of Mark, Mark Adams being. I know he's a good coach. I never even thought to consider his personal life. I mean, I didn't. I'm sure it affects things. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying, I didn't think of him. You said golden, but I didn't think of him like that. No? no just he was good, comes in. And I guess Beard leaving in the way that he did made, it just put like this really nice light on Coach Adams. Oh, but. Being in the mix like we were at the games and stuff, he seemed, he's really likable, really humble, really like old fashioned. You know, he seems like a person that's from here for sure. But. That being said, everybody's got their dirt in. It's not that bad to see the it's team. Bad, but it's not that to bad. see the team fall off like they have. It's I mean, I'm sure there's there. a few reasons why you can't just put it all on the players. Yeah, they're 0 and 8 in the conference. 0 and 8 in the conference, and they're so talented though. That's what sucks. Losing about streak, it. eight games. Eight game losing streak. They were so they were 10 and 2, and now they're. I'll continue to support them. I'll continue to buy the tickets, go to the games. Yell, yeah, they're not bad. All that shit. It's fun. It's They're good not time. a bad team. They just got to figure it out. Yeah. So, Mark Adams, if that's true, brother, wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I still want you on the podcast. Yeah, still trying yeah. to get you on. Let's talk about it, Mark Adams. Tell us how good it we're is. Not, yeah, we're not Texas no, Tech kidding. Radio, like you said. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, fuck We ain't got none. Shout out to our sponsors to make sure we're a flute. Shout out to the sponsors. Humble Hustle. And Unlucky Barbaco. Unlucky Barbaco. I need to go hit them up. Um... 
Yeah, so I want to talk about some baseball before we end this. The uh, Hall of Fame election just happened the other day. and The I, Baseball Hall of Fame? So the Baseball Hall of Fame, Jeff Kent, before I get into Jeff Kent, sorry. I would like to say this because I saw a tweet that perfectly reflects this because my understanding was the Hall of Fame. So you got to think about it like getting to the MLB is amazing. Big deal. Now you're narrowing it down. To let's the say, okay, best of the best. So let's say all-stars. Now you're an all-star. Okay. You're, you're getting even smaller. Yeah. Good. Let's just say you're a fucking really good player. Elite? Not even. Okay, you're an elite player. But for how long? Okay, I'm going to narrow it down one more. So that's steps. That's the second step before the top. Elite players. A lot of these on the ballot are elite. were elite players of their time. But there was, for a while, there was this tier of like God level baseball players. Okay. For a long, I don't know the exact time period, but like, so the God level guys, you know, that when you think anybody thinks of baseball, that's the level that got into the Hall of Fame. Uh huh. Now it's kind of changed where it's like, okay, some of the elite players are getting in that I, I mean, they were really good. Fucking awesome to watch, like um, Scott Rowland, who was the only one that made it this year. Really fun to watch. He was clutch in the playoffs, solid on defense. Just a really, really, really good baseball player. And even then, I'm like, I don't think he deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. How often because do they do this? This is every year. Every year. So, and, and what eras are they pulling this from? Like it, Some of them are like eligible, so... Manny Ramirez, so, he's going okay. To make so it. I have a, I have a little conundrum with Alex Rodriguez and Manny Ramirez because of the roids. I didn't. I don't. I've said it. I'm a purist. I don't think they should have went in. Um, like Sheffield, he was. I seen Torrey Hunter play. I, I have his autograph. Uh, Gary Sheffield hit 500 home runs. That's like an elite club. I've seen A Rod too. Yeah, Gary Sheffield. Yeah. So I mean, even he didn't get in. You know, Andrew Jones. That's he was really, really good, the best, you know, defensive player of his time. So Whatever. these are all guys from different eras though? Um, uh, no. I mean, these are all like pretty much the same. Some of these guys was their last time being on the ballot. What about the guy for the Red Sox who was a pitcher and he had the blood on his Kurt Schilling? Is he ever gonna make it? I don't think so. He didn't get I think he lost his eligibility, you know. That's what I mean. Like some of these like Scott Rowland was the only one who made it. And people were like, "He he's really good, good for Cincinnati. He played for... So is it political? Is that what's going uh, on? The, the writers in the fucking... It, that's where it's like, who... The columnists yeah, and it, the people... And some people would argue that they're starting to allow these people in to make to bring in money to Cooperstown because people want to go to Cooperstown to visit the Hall of Fame and gotcha. it kind of like a money deal. Like, so, like, like, I remember being a kid thinking of the elite, elite, elite that were like... the. The God level, like those are the Hall of Famers. Some so A Rod didn't get in. No, he didn't. He only had thirty five percent. You had that seventy five percent. And more. how many times can he be nominated? Ah, uh, but he can't get in anymore. Um, I don't want to see Manny Ramirez or Alex Rodriguez. Anybody on this list that we're looking at, if you're watching, I don't think other than like maybe Todd Helton, he was pretty good. I don't think he was God level, but if we're gonna play this game, I think he should be in. Carlos Beltran. I think he should be in. Yeah. Andrew Jones. I heard Carlos Beltran didn't get in this time because he was in a cheating scandal. So they, they, they stuck it to him this time, but next time he will be in. So there is some politics involved. Like, yeah, you, <laughs> he was in a cheating scandal. That's what I heard. Like so, betting? Yeah. So I heard they'll fuck around like that. They won't, because it was like um, closer for the Yankees, the Sandman, uh, Mariano Rivera. He's the only person ever to get 100% valid. A ballot vote. What? So it's kind of a big deal if you it's your first time on and you make it. And I remember when Derek Jeter made it, he got one vote against him. And he was like, in his speech, he was like, so whoever your one vote was, fuck you, basically. Nice. So, I mean, so they play this game. Yeah. But there's some people who truly deserve it, like the two names I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's iffy. I'm not like 100%. But I do believe like if you hit 500 home runs, there's certain criteria you, you hit in your career that yeah. are just unbelievable. 3,000 sure. strikeouts, 300, 300 wins, 
500 home runs. I mean, A-Rod's like fifth on the list of home runs. And he's not, you know, the, the Roy shit. So it's kind of interesting to watch it all go down. Sammy Sosa, another one. Like, obviously, he's Barry Bonds. Cheaters. These guys, like, they're... Like, How many tainted. guys didn't get caught, though, you know? I don't know. So, you know, I'm a... Is Randy Johnson in the Hall of Fame? I don't know if he's eligible. But oh, if okay. he... I imagine he might be. He's, he's second best pitcher of all time. Yeah. He definitely deserves it. Who's the first, Nolan Ryan? I would argue. I think Pete Rose deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Pete Rose. Best hitter of all time. But he got... He got... He was uh, betting. Yeah, so they yeah. they stuck it to him, too. And they were like, you're banned from the... Which is complete bullshit. Especially if you're betting for your team to win. Which I'm not sure that that's what he was doing, but... The big unit. 6'11". Yeah, you got like in 2015. I think it's like seven years after you retire. You're eligible. His first year of eligibility. Of course. He should have got a 100% vote, if you ask me. That video of him hitting the bird. Classic. And the bird just exploding in there. He's a professional photographer for the NFL now. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's I see cool. him on the sidelines. It's, it's pretty cool. Of course, man. That's so, legit. There's my rant for... For baseball? For baseball. Get your shit together. Don't let... I... Maybe. You got any uh, controversy in sports? Mm. I hear old Cliffy Cliff is going to the Rams with Sean McVay to be offensive coordinator. That's a good deal for him. That would be good. I think he's good. We'll see where Aaron Rodgers ends up. Cowboys. He might be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be a good idea. I wouldn't be mad at that. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers uh, to the Cowboys? I guess there's really nothing... I don't really keep up with in a ML, I mean NBA. I know, I know LeBron's putting up like record numbers, but is he? But it doesn't matter because they're not winning. Yeah. I mean, I guess personally it matters. Right. Whatever. No controversy in sports. No. Give us a sports movie, Roy. Let's see. Um. You give us one right now. I got to think of one. My sports movie is going to. Somebody's outside. Let me see who. Sports movie, sports movie, sports movie. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. I wonder if I've already said Jerry Maguire. Hold on. I got to finish this podcast. Hold on. I'll go with Jerry Maguire. All right. I'm going to go with. Might have already said this one, though. I'm going to go with. Bring it on. (laughs) <laughs> this is a fucking, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. There you go, man. Thank you. Uh, whatever episode this is. Wrap it up. We'll be back with more consistency this year. So For sure. We'll see y'all.